Welcome to an Algebra 1 sample question number 8. This is for the state exam. So we have the figure shows a graph of the function f of x in a coordinate plane. That is the parabola that you see down there facing downward with the vertex 1, 9 and the zeros at negative 2 and 4. The function g is defined by g of x is equal to negative 3x plus 2. Which of the statements are true? Select all that are apply. So that means there could be more than one answer. There could be up to five answers in case all of the answers are available. So here we are. Um, I am going to label the graph. This graph is f of x. So that upside down parabola is, has nothing to do with g of x. This is g of x on the top right. It's just the actual um, function, no pictures, no graph. That's what they're going to do for the state exam. They're going to have you look at a graph and compare it to just a function equation. All right, so let's do the first one, f of negative 2. So if I go to my graph and look at negative 2, you'll see that it's negative 2 comma 0. And that means that our y value is 0. And I'm going to see if it's greater than g of negative 2. So g of negative 2, since I don't have any kind of visual, I'm going to have to plug it in. So that will be negative 3 times that negative 2 plus 2. All I'm doing is plugging in negative 2 for x. I would get a positive 8. So is 0 greater than 8? The answer is no. Remember, we're comparing the blue number to the orange number. Now we're going to do b, f of negative 1. So don't forget that you're looking at the graph for f of x, and f of negative 1 is actually equal to 5, so that means the coordinates is negative 1, 5. So the y value is 5. And then g of negative 1 means you would have to plug it in, because again, we don't have a visual. So if you do the math by multiplying then adding, you will get a positive 5. So is 5 less than 5? No. I'm reading it from left to right. Now for c. c is f of 0. Remember to look at the parabola first. That is actually y-intercept. It's the number 8. And we're going to see, is it greater than g of 0? g of 0, when you plug in a 0, is just your b, which is the number 2. That is your y-intercept. So that 8 is greater than 2, and that's why I circled it. Now for letter d. So before I do f of positive 1, you can see that everything's looking a little messy. So I'm going to erase some so I can look at it a little clearer. So f of positive 1 is positive 9. All right, and we're going to see if 9 is less than g of 1. g of 1 is negative 3 times 1 plus 2. That's going to be negative 1. 9 is definitely not less than negative 1. So on to the next one, f of 2. So if I go to f of 2, it's um, the y value is 8, same thing as saying 2 comma 8. So is 8 greater than g of 2? I don't know. So I'm going to take the time to plug it in. If you do the math, you get negative 4. Is 8 greater than negative 4? The answer is yes. So your answers are E and C.